we yeah, like, and we did what like 200 feet of pig intestines. Yeah, and we're shooting mm. in the summer, you know. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it was not it was not cool out, and you know you can only keep things so cold in a beer cooler. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Don't I know it. So some of those effects, you know, you go to shoot the scene, you open up the cooler full of you know organic things, you know, Ew. and just yeah, yeah the, the odor not um, good. Not good. So Fun, yeah. face Fun. masks. We should have bought face masks in hindsight. Yeah, I think OSHA would probably have been happy. But we did at least have rubber gloves. We did have the rubber gloves. Yeah, we did have rubber gloves. I just but how did anywhere near that, that shit. <laughs> touch, touch pig intestines coated in caro syrup and food coloring, and then my camera is exactly <laughs> the way I want to go out. <coughs> Definitely good times though. Yeah. It's funny, just like how excited you are, especially Mikey would come up. <laughs> At one point, he was like, he was so, so helpful on set, which is great. But I'm like, Mikey, everybody saves it for the close in this biz. So in other words, I, we appreciate your helping out, but we need you to fucking shine when it's time to do your job. And not, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about all that shit. I got thirty fucking people on set who are more than happy to help out, look for something to do. So uh, he borrowed right. the trailer. I had nowhere to go. <laughs> I let I let him off the leash. Yeah, yeah. Sure you know, I left my leash. And I mean, I'm always talking about the uh, benefits of like you know being able to fill more than one role. Uh, Mikey was extremely helpful to the production with the use of his house. Yeah, and, and for I, sure. And I don't want to touch base on because I think we lucked out in that um, even when we didn't <laughs> want it, we, we hadn't planned it necessarily, but some of the locations really became characters in the film. Yeah. And uh, Mrs. Rourke's house, which is where we shot at Mikey's place, is definitely an example of that. And you'll see it in the film kind of transition from this shiny sort of suburban home into this falling apart hovel. For the record, actually, or, we did it backwards. Right. Uh, uh, we, we spiffed it up, not de spiffed. So, the with the possible exception of potentially the worst continuity nightmare <laughs> in all filmmaking the front of his house being hit by a fucking train. <laughs> because I mean, we had some temporary builds in front of the house that weren't meant to last because they're right. props. And this goddamn, for real, honest to goodness, 40, 50 feet tall tree broke off and landed on the front of the fucking house where we had to shoot the next day. So what was it um, What was it like? You, you lived in the house and you were in the middle of, you were planning on renovating it anyway, right? Yes. So you know, tell us just a little bit about how that location process worked. It, it, it worked out where it was, you know, just happenstance timing of, you know, we wanted to shoot that, how we were going to shoot that was shoot the later scenes first, do the newer scenes later, and it just kind of started to fall into place. Um, you know, like I said, when you look at the movie later, you'll be able to see the difference that it really does sell on, in, in those newer parts. It just looks so happy. It looks like that happy domestic lifestyle, and later you can tell things have fallen apart a little. One of the main things that we had done, um, on top of the painting, uh, we literally went from a, a kitchen that was entirely trashed to spruced up, repainted, in a matter of a week and a half. Um, had all the cupboards down, the entire floors, ceiling, yeah. walls, yeah. everything cleaned, repainted in a week and a half. Um, we had uh, Jake Schumacher. Yeah, I was just going to say, who as totally a, busted as, his ass. As, as a matter of fact, while we were Great. shooting a scene in the other room, in the kitchen, he was in the other room working. Yeah. Trying to get that, that guy, man, he went to the Almost he went to the Jake, yeah. uh, Jake, you were yeah. 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 That's some dedication. So. Yeah, absolutely. Right, yeah, we had this horrible, horrible storm, and it was, yeah, it was just crazy. Well, massive. It was a it fun was, storm. Well, oh, yeah, it was a very fun storm, fun storm, but storm. the storm literally had 65. We, not only do we do makeup and, and special effects, but we storm chase too. Yes, so, that's because they're insane carnies, is what it is. <laughs> yes. well, but, no, like it was, it was a horrendously bad storm, and if you don't, if you're not from Rockford, you may not know Rockford is known as the Forest City because there's fucking trees everywhere, yeah, massive everywhere. old trees everywhere, <laughs> and one of them just happened to fall in the front of Mikey's house, like in the middle of a shoot, pretty much. And and, and it wasn't just that one tree; there was like fifty of them within a three block area. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, pretty hard. You know, yeah, yeah we had crew was, running around pulling limbs out of shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Was, yeah the, the transformation was pretty quick. I mean, uh, Gary definitely stepped up to the plate there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, Raven's and, and and actually, I will, like, I will also commend the city of Rockford did something to help the movie and showed up on the spot the to one time the city of Rockford did anything helpful for us was yes. tree removal. <laughs> <laughs> True that. Other than that, if you know, if you look real close, it's probably about eight or nine minutes into the film. Um, you're gonna see the only continuity problem that I've been mm -hmm. able to find, and I've been over this movie with a fine tooth comb, is 
you can tell that there's some damage to the um, like the gutter. The gutter. Yeah, the front, the front, front gutter right. above yeah. the front door. But other than that, those well, guys did just an amazing. Job. Thanks for supplying the IMDb yeah, fucking no people list the goofs. Who I don't even know why they watch <laughs> movies. It's like they don't watch movies for like the story or emotional content or anything cool or fun. That's just like they're playing a big Where's Waldo game for Boom Shadows. They really are. What right? a shitty way to live. It's, I don't know. I mean. Everybody's got their oh, fetishes, you know. Yeah. Just, I just imagine some 400-pound dude <laughs> spitting in his hand watching Rubiger. watching Star Wars A New Hope, just waiting for that stormtrooper to run into the fucking wall. You know? Harry <laughs> Fisher actually said Mark Hamill's name. <laughs> <laughs> Make uh, it up! <laughs> okay, well, hey, man. Uh, uh, let's take a quick break to Robert's Corner, if he turned in anything this Robert? week. Robert. Robert. Human he has been in that corner quite a bit. We just filmed the thing in the kitchen, just a little side project for him called Bummer. That's why I went into that corner. Yeah, I was explaining that to the folks at home who may not have just know the subtlety. Should know. They should. They should. It'll probably be posted by the time. Yeah, if you get a chance, watch Bummer because it was really, really fun really to make. Fun. I got to be a makeup guy. On you know, you know the fucked up thing, like you, you doing what you love for a living is priceless. But when, <laughs> when you do what you love and you need a break from your work, you often do the same fucking thing. <laughs> God damn, I'm tired of rotoscoping Raymond did it. <laughs> Guess I'll rotoscope bummer. <laughs> Viewer mail, uh, Marilyn from Poughkeepsie asks, in a lot of the production photos, it seems like you guys were drinking a fair amount. Were you drunk all the time on set? There was the first day of the movie, we weren't. <laughs> no. You weren't? I wasn't. Were you on Delada on PCP? Were you on? No, I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I wish I would have been drunk on Saturday. Oh, Jesus. I didn't get drunk, <laughs> I didn't get drunk while we were shooting that night. I drank, wow. I want to say I drank one night. We were kind of kicking it in the hotel room, just hanging out. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Learning more about. Well, yeah, R Robert, uh, the amazing editor, would get us like, it'd get us rushes, like, the next day. Yeah. A rough I mean, cut of, like, every really fucking thing we shot, just about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, like, about three or four days in, I hadn't had a chance to see any of this shit, and I think almost nobody did. We were pretty busy. Um, it wasn't party party all the time. We were working 17-hour days. Um, yeah, for real. But, like, uh, I couldn't have... I don't know. Tim might have been able to. Joey, I know, could. Uh, but I would, I would not be able to function. Like, actually, on set, yeah. like, honestly, never, with the exception of towards the end of one night, uh, it, it was a party scene, uh, and... Things had actually gone amazingly well, all things considered. And uh, I think Lindsay was just like handing me shots of Jameson here and there. And who Which sounds about right, because Lindsay actually comes packaged with a shot of Jameson. <laughs> yeah. She, she was amazing. And, 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 and my question is Lindsay Pickleback. <laughs> well, I didn't have time to do that. That's a funny thing. The first Pickleback I did, which is a, it's a shot of, I think any whiskey will do with Jameson's is your guy, and then um, a shot of juice. like spicy hot pickle juice, preferably dill. Um, but, you know, anything will work. So, I do the shot of Jameson, no no problem, but I'm like looking to get the shot of Pickle Juice, like, <laughs> And after I did it, it was fine. I, I thought, that's a little backwards. <laughs> pickle Juice is kind of harmless, and the James like, <laughs> like, I don't know! I don't know how to handle it! And, like, that was a legitimate feeling, was me being funny. Oh, so, like, movie magic! Oh, God. Okay. I was so yeah, pissed. Was, uh, that's all kinds of really cool bottles, I like there was preempt. nothing in them. I'd like to preempt another question we might get to. Uh, much to Ty Yeager's dismay, we did not smoke any actual marijuana. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> smoking during the making of this. Are, are we going to tell them what we did smoke? The though? copious amounts of bong smoke. Yes, we are. Because I looked all over the internet and I just couldn't get like a good idea what to use to have a smoke that would really produce. You know, aside from actually. I didn't want a rotoscope smoke, and yet another fucking right. Travis Leg production. Examples so. of that. I'm God damn it. Um, so we got some, what was it, like birchwood, like pipe tobacco? Yes, right. we used? yes. And it really just threw smoke, smoke like crazy. And it was, it was totally yeah. cheap. So if you're making an indie flick, get some nice harsh pipe tobacco. And, and a stoner who can handle it. Yes. Right. Holy crap. Yes. Yeah, I took a hit off this thing, and never mind that the, the rubber cement on the bong we had built <laughs> wasn't quite dry yet, so I was a little fucked up from that. But I was just coughing my lungs out, and I am a, He's a smoker, like, man. five pack a day chain yeah. smoker, and I'm just like, I'm gonna die. 
I'm gonna die. Yeah. Okay, Jaeger grabs it and he's like, <laughs> clears the two foot bong and is like, eh, that'll do. <laughs> so there's that one night that I was like the little devil on Kyle's shoulder because it was pretty late and I'm like, gosh, we got a pretty early call. It's like 7 a.m. You know, we get to sleep, we'll feel really shitty tomorrow. We probably should just stay up all night. <laughs> and the yeah. only reason he believed me is because he wanted to believe me. Yeah, I mean, he's like, Hostiles. you know, Tim, you make sense. Like, no, I don't, but I'm not going to say nothing if you don't say nothing. I was so, a pretty fun smart dude, so I'm sure he didn't, yeah, yeah. You didn't snow him. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I asked him to watch my big offense by any <laughs> So it was extremely agitating and hard to try and do makeup on a 300 and something pound snoring giant. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna throw Maybe that a Joey a stepladder. <laughs> yeah. Looked like Gulliver's Travel. Like, every time I got anywhere near his nose, you can imagine what's going on. Yeah, that shit's called for almost everything you put on somebody's face for makeup is so most horrible. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I mean, I had to wake him up and he was still like, I'm like, all right, Kyle, you okay? And he's like, <laughs> Kyle! Uh -huh. <laughs> That's how we do. Yeah. Right on. Giant bastard. Well, we all made it through it. Giant bastard. So, okay. That's the drinking question. Kyle, that is the love. drinking question. And then the, the fucking, uh, the screening we had for cast and crew. Uh, oh no, that wasn't it. It was, uh, oh, I was drunk then too. <laughs> yeah. And smoking this weird blueberry stuff that's oh, legal geez. pot that I'm sure isn't going to be legal for much longer. I, I don't smoke pot. Well, now that you've busted it out, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a fucking gnar. The, the infamous Q&A at oh, the fucking on the waterfront film <laughs> I wish somebody would have, I wish Neil would have brought a camera in the I really um, wish yeah, but... I could have been there. <laughs> I fell out of my chair. He literally fell out of his chair. And I, I got a Bachelor of Arts in English. I'm not one of those guys that says literally when he just means a real, real lot. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> yeah. close to it. I he fell out of his fucking chair. Because I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get down the ground and laugh because yeah. this dude's insane. Yeah. He's taking care of our street team t-shirts, which are a huge, huge, huge deal. And um, really, I mean, you know, we've been making this movie on the faith of our friends and on the, you know, faith of our fans and then a little bit of love. So, um, you know, Tim designed a really cool image for the shirt. Javier is putting the finest quality, you know, printing and on the finest quality shirts we can get. So, you know, please pick They're one They're made of glittering Samite. Yes, yeah, they, you'll actually, it makes your penis grow when you wear them. <laughs> yeah, but that, no, um, I, I think we killed one of the gay vampires from Twilight to use... Yeah, it's sparkles. Yeah. What, what do you mean sparkles. you think we did? We don't want to admit to it. know that. <laughs> Just keep, keep it a little vague for the right. plausible <laughs> deniability. Yeah. T-shirts. So, which that's my street team challenge. Uh, buy a shirt for you and a loved one. Uh, Absolutely. And I'm going to build on that because um, I... Because I stole yours pretty much. So you right. have to come up with Because Tim that. stole my answer. No, um, <clears throat> I would say if you have a street team T-shirt or if you buy one as Tim has instructed, my request... request to you is to um, wear it and do a YouTube video. I don't know, even if it's like oh, 30 great. seconds and be yeah. like, oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Raymond did it. Do a, even if, post a video reply to this video. I just need wear our shirt in one of your videos. It's okay if you make it funny, but I think no, I, sometimes when she's she's hilarious <laughs> most of the time. Sometimes when she's not funny, she she uh, resorts to editorial tricks uh, that we all do. By I'm the sorry, way. that was just I was just cat blocking to him. I apologize, but it really, really works. Oh, my chances I Justine are out the door because of me. This face, right? Yeah, here. But yeah. No, throw on throw on Raymond a street team T-shirt and do a YouTube video, whatever it's about. You know, I don't necessarily endorse whatever your opinion is. So if you get on there and start blabbing some clan stuff, you know. <laughs> That's not my fault. You we will come in. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, man. But, yeah. Yeah. Well, see. Do you guys have a challenge for the street team? Yes. Yeah, How are people going to help spread the word? What's your ideas? You can come up with them separately or together. Do we need to confer on this? Buy a fucking shirt! I wish I came up with that. Okay! Goodbye, everybody! Thanks for tuning in. Next time, I really hope I record it. Oh, sure. Yeah, that'd be a good idea next time. Yeah, you did take the lens cap off, right? What's a lens cap?